I'll call this actually CC, CC3 SB Bake. I want the selection only. And the scale I'm thinking probably going to be 100% larger because I shrunk her down. Let's go do this. And just have a quick nosy in the wrap and just see if this is actually showing up with textures. No worries. Thank you so much for dropping by, Steve. Chris, just so you know, I have bought you a coffee earlier. Uh, you, Steve, Brian and Rod, because we're all sitting here together and we're thinking, hey, we should have coffee together. So if you find a coffee in your library, that is for me. Enjoy. It's like basically having you here with us having coffee. It's kind of cool. Load geometry. And I'm just going to load this and an image, I think. Load image. There we go. That goes into here. The image is then, of course, what we've just exported from the baking. I'm so glad I've recorded this because, you know, now I remember. SB diffuse. Check. That's that. Geometry. That'll be CC3 SB bake. And oh, there she is. And do you have maps? Do you? And they don't look awkward. No, they look great. Look at it. Oh, Brian, thank you so much for explaining that to me. That's really cool. And now I can kind of plow my way through making this work with all the other maps, including the eyes and all that. It's a little bit tricky to set up. If I had selected the other maps in the baking process, would it also have done that in one fair swoop, do you think? Like all of these things? Because that, I think that that would be that would make this thing a seriously handy add-on to have. Chris, we're talking about simple bake. So under here, like, is it bake objects? No, that wasn't it. It was PBR bakes. If I were to select, we can actually just try it out and see what happens. So, um, in fact, let me go through the whole thing again, just so that I remember. If I go and select this and that. I can even select OpenGL or DirectX. That is very nice, depending on what I need. If I select these three and then go bake, would it go and do the bake on three maps? Oh, you know it. Oh, look at that. I hadn't known it. So very, very chuffed about this. Oh, cool. Let me go through this whole part again of setting up simple bake and the maps, just so that I remember uh, what, it, what, what it's like. Um, recent. There we go. Test three on stream. So this is basically the starting project in which all I have is the character that needs to be unified. And Blender takes a second to do things. It tells me that the file has been written in a newer version of Blender and it is correct, but I think it's it can just about work it out. So this character here uh, has applied maps under the shading tab on most of the outer surfaces with node wrangler so we have the diffuse we have the normal and we also have a roughness so that's all applied on the character and she's kind of looking good but now of course comes the part in which we have to say hey we want all of these parts all of these uv islands not on separate uv spaces we want them all on one uv map essentially so for that we need to go uh, be a little bit creative so the first thing i'll go and do under here under the uv maps is i'll set up a new map and i'll call it simple bake and that's important i guess for the add-on to work properly is that correct brian i think i've i've kind of <laughs> i've kind of uh, understood this correctly But, you know, repetition is how we learn. So I think, you know, that's important. So new UV map, call it simple bake. And then we go and bring all these maps together. So A, and then we go, let's just average the island sizes here. And then we go and say pack islands. And let's say we're okay with that. Or make changes, perhaps to the face. Face compared to the body isn't all that big. So I'm going to go and hover over that and hit L to select that island, go S and just stretch it out, make it a little bit larger. And then I'll go A twice, and then I'll go and pack the islands again. Chris, I've also invested into UV Packmaster 2 today, but uh, that 
didn't bring a great uh, improvement on this because the islands are large. So we'll go to here, we'll go to here. That's cool. Doesn't matter where I go, I can stay in here, I think, and head over down to the simple bake tab. And we want PBR bake, we don't want cycles bake, but I think we want this to be this up here. We want this to say cycles and GPU compute to make it a little bit faster, I think. Then we go and we don't do anything under settings, but bake objects, I think. Oh yeah, we're still in edit mode. That's the problem, isn't it? So in object mode, we go and add the character we want to bake. That's neat. Then under PBR bakes, I want to bake the diffuse. I also want to try to bake the roughness and it is rough rather than glossy. And I'm also going to go bake the normal. I don't think we have metal here and everything else is, is all right. We don't have a mission. That's all good. Special bakes. I think we do nothing. Texture settings. This is my texture size. So I'm going to go and increase that maybe to 4K for today. Then we go and say export settings. We don't click these things because our file name isn't supported here. So that's fine. Otherwise it would create that uh, an exportable mesh as well as exportable maps. We do that manually. We ignore that. UV settings. I'm going to go and prefer the existing UV maps called Simple Bake. This is the one that we've made earlier. So that should work. Restore originally active UV map. We can do that. Other settings. Um, what do we do here? We do nothing, I think. I think we do nothing. I think that's how it worked. And then channel, we also do nothing. We're, we're good, we're good. We're not doing anything there. We're just gonna say bake and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. It appears to, it appears that nothing's happening, but in fact, I'll, I'll do get that little spinning cursor in a minute, which means the thing is working hard. I think background, maybe executing this on a background thread, perhaps, I'm not entirely sure. But let's let, look, let's look at this close-up of a tongue texture while we wait for the thing to finish, because that's groovy. <laughs> no wonder your brain was mush earlier, Brian. And no wonder you nearly skipped lunch. Make sure you, you catch up on dinner at some point. There we go, that's that. And it looks like it's finished, so that's cool. So all we need to do now is export our maps manually because my file name was kind of balked and the plugin didn't like that. The plus sign wasn't good. So I'll go up here and pick the three images that I need to export, namely this one here, the diffuse, the normal and the roughness. And that's cool. I can just select one of them. That's that. And then I'll go and say image over here and save as. And it's actually the same thing that I've that I've had before. So I'll just go call it SP Diffuse. So I'll just overwrite that. Now I go and select the next one, which is the normal. So once again, image, save as. I'll call it, uh, what did I say? SB normal. Yes, yes, yes. And roughness, same thing. Save as SB rough. In PNG, in RGB, no alpha. That is all good. So then the final step is, of course, that my, my, uh, my character hasn't been made into a copy at the moment. That's interesting like it did last time. So that's cool. I'm going to select the simple bake UVs here, which now looks mangled, but that's that's OK. So I just need to select my second UV space here, the one that is essentially the combined UVs, because I also need to export my character as an OBJ and that needs to have the same UV space. So I'll go and copy that out and I'll call this. I'll override the same character as I had before CC3 SB bake uh, selection only. And the size, I'm going to make that 100 times, whoops, not 140, 100 times larger because Blender's scaling issues. And then with a bit of luck, I should be able to just reload the geometry and the image in wrap. And that looks mangled because we have different UVs. Here we go, reload and there we go. She's good. 
Perfect. And that should now also work, I'm hoping, with the roughness and the normal. There's rough. Normal hasn't baked. What's happened? Certainly rough. All around. Why has my normal map not baked? I wonder then. It hasn't. It's not actually not about being having not been baked. It's not been exported from the blender. That was probably my mistake. Pick that. Image. Save as. Oh, it's an EXR map. Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. I could have probably looked at that a little bit closer and save it as a PNG instead. <laughs> that's why it didn't show up. So it came out as an EXR. That's quite clever of Blender that it can do that. Woohoo! See if this works. The stuff you need to know. There she is. Normal maps and all. Oh, goody! Hey, thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate that. I think I can find my way around this now. And then transfer these textures over to Genesis Texture. Woohoo! Awesome! 